All right, the glue's had plenty of time to dry. Uh, I put my 7 millimeter barrel trimmer in my drill, and I actually started uh, trimming this before I got the camera going. Then it hit me I wanted to, to photo, so let me uh, go ahead and, and uh, finish trimming this uh, blank. <laughs> got a nice uh, right down to the, to the blank it's kind of hard to see in the video the lighting's not that great but you can see the shine of the blank or the shine of the brass tube so basically I uh, that one's nice and level and flat You may notice I'm constantly raising the drill, the arbor up and down on the drill, and the idea is I, I, I know I don't have a lot of uh, slop in that blank, so I don't want to trim any of the brass away, so I'm constantly looking to uh, see if I can catch the, catch the shine of the brass. I'm going to go ahead and do the other blank now. As soon as I see the brass shine through, I know I'm done and I stop. All right, the slimline pin is trimmed and ready to go. Let's uh, change out the uh, barrel trimmer to the 10 millimeter trimmer and we'll get uh, Don's bullet pin trimmed out. I've changed out the barrel trimmer tool to the 10 millimeter. I've got Don's blank chucked up and I'm going to go ahead now and trim that blank. All right, and there we have it. Both sets of blanks are trimmed up, so let's move on to the next step and uh, get these blanks on the lathe and get them turned. I've got the uh, Sally's Barnwood uh, pin blanks mounted, and notice I've got the perpendicular line that I drew uh, running right down the center of the blank. That way the two halves will match up, uh, and you can flip it over and see that that's a couple of cut lines, but a little bit of glue in the middle there, but that's, that's what the barn would look like to start with so it looked pretty rough but on the inside once you shaved it off just below the surface look at that wood that's absolutely beautiful so uh, we're going to go ahead now and uh, grab uh, grab our uh, spindle gouge and uh, I'm going to use that to round these blanks true them up and uh, let's just see where we go from there all right let's get turning we're going to start out at about 1500 rpms and uh, see what happens
right, the planks are trued up. Wow, look at that grain. Oh, it looks like we got a little spalting almost. I don't know if that's spalting or just weathering. It's probably weathering. Uh, I'm going to take a second, get my tool rest adjusted a little closer to the blanks, and uh, get my smaller spindle gouge and continue on.